My name is Victor Iden, and I'm the Senior Risk Management Consultant at His Green Commodities, Inc. Options on futures are instruments that give you the right, but not the obligation, to buy a futures contract, we call those call options, or to sell a futures contract, we call those put options. To illustrate, um, imagine if you would that a farm came up for sale. The asking price was $500,000. Imagine if that you approached the owner and asked for the right to buy this farm anytime during the upcoming six months. You needed the time to raise financing, let's say. You offered the owner $25,000 for that right. The $25,000 would be a premium above and beyond the price, $500,000, to be paid. After the agreement is signed, let's fast forward a few months and imagine that farm prices suddenly went higher. Now the open market price for this farm is a million dollars, but you have the right to buy it at half a million dollars. Are you going to exercise that right? Yes, you would. You would exercise the right and buy that farm for $500,000 when the open market price was a million dollars. That's a call option, and that's how you would exercise that right. Imagine that you owned the farm, but you wanted the rights to sell this farm for $500,000 anytime during the upcoming six months. Imagine that you signed a contract with a dependable buyer that gave you the right to sell your farm at $500,000 anytime during the upcoming six months and that you pay $25,000 to that buyer for that privilege. We call this a put option. It gives you the right to sell at the agreed strike price anytime during the tenure of the farm. Now let's fast forward again. Imagine that a few months went by and the open market price for your farm surprisingly increases to a million dollars. Are you going to exercise the right and sell your farm for $500,000 when the open market price is a million? No, you would not. You would walk away from the put option and take the higher market price, the higher $1 million market price. Now, change the picture. Imagine for whatever reason, the farm values dropped and the farm, your farm was now worth only $250,000. Would you exercise the right to sell your farm for $500,000 when the open market price was $250,000. Yes, you would. You would exercise your put option and get a higher price, higher than the open market price at that point. That's how put options are exercised when there's a benefit to the owner. We could buy a call option. Call options will give you the right to buy a futures contract at the strike price you buy anytime during the lifespan of the call option. Once you buy a call option, if futures prices go higher, you would be benefiting by an increase in value in the call option. Obviously, call options have a price, a premium. One of the questions you're gonna to have to ask yourself as you consider the different op call options you can buy is, given this price, are futures gonna go high enough to enable me to make a profit or make more money on this call option? It's really that simple. After buying your call option, you will only exercise it if indeed you are right and futures prices go higher. If futures prices instead stop in their tracks or go backwards, your maximum risk is the premium you have paid. So in trying to answer this question, you should really ask yourself, if this premium I pay is lost, can I live with the net price that I'm gonna have given the crop price that I've already received? That's the question you need to ask yourself. 